Hi everyone, I'm Anne from Anne Makes. Welcome to my channel. And uh, today I bring you a Dollar Tree haul. It is the second part of a double dollar store haul I did yesterday. I actually went to Dollarama and the Dollar Tree and I just finished filming the uh, Dollarama haul video. So if you are interested in seeing that, please follow the link that I will try to provide in up there somewhere, <laughs> somewhere on the screen. Our there. I don't remember which side it'll be on. But anyway, hopefully I'll remember to put the link on the screen. So I visited Dollarama and Dollar Tree yesterday and I bought a whole bunch of stuff and the video was just too long to leave it as is. So I'm filming the Dollar Tree haul now. So by the way, I am in Canada. So the items we purchase at the Dollar Tree in Canada are $1.25 Canadian. In the U.S. Uh, they are $1.00. So uh, the first, and I ha I'm going to try to rush through this because I do have a lot of stuff to show you. This is a repurchase of mine. And it is the Dollar Tree um, Cooking Concepts Chopping Mats. You get two in a pack. These are 11 by 14 inches. They are kind of clear. It's a little hard to see that now because there's two of them in here. They're more like of an opaque, I would say, than clear. And I purchased these because I like to cut them for crafting purposes. So I bought several of these to add to my stash. I will be using these as dividers in my craft supply organizing, which is coming to come in a couple of months, by the way. So, so just before in my Dollarama haul, I showed a box of zipper seal bags that are almost the same size as these ones these are slightly bigger i think these are 14 and 3 8 inches by 16 inch they are jumbo size they have the slider seal thing you get five bags in here for a dollar 25 in canada a dollar in the u.s um and uh, our dollaramas they have uh, a different brand and you get six bags for a dollar fifty and they're not the they don't have that little doodad here that little red doodad they're just a uh, double zip so i like to use these to store and collect items for my scrapbooking projects uh, and a lot of scrapbooking papers 12 by 12 so this is perfect for organizing those i also while i was there i purchased a box of the Sandwich bags, the Sure Fresh, you get 50 in here. They're the little zipper seal bags. Uh, these are a really good purchase because these are $1.25 for a box of 50. And I just bought this for use in my kitchen for actual food and maybe sometimes sandwiches and snacks. In the food section, I purchased the Ital Pasta uh, Strained Tomatoes and this is a 680 milliliter bottle it, it's basically like tomato thick tomato juice uh, it's no fun to clean but what can we do right you have a house you've got to clean it <laughs> so i got this bottle of the la's totally awesome floor cleaner in lavender it cleans the ceramics and no wax floors and that's what we have here mostly ceramic floors and uh and laminate so and you get 20 percent more in this bottle so it's a big big bottle of uh cleaner and it's 1.42 liters or 48 fluid ounces of this big bottle uh this is a concert uh, a repeat purchase of mine and a uh, dollar Everything is dollar twenty-five. Right? Dollar. I also got the heavy-duty storage bags, the Essentials brand. These are fifteen inches by fifteen inches. You get three bags. That is supposed to be the large size in here. They show the large, extra large, and extra extra large. So uh, that the large are fifteen by fifteen inches, and uh, these are great for exactly what they show storing stuff out of season clothes you know all sorts of stuff and I got a box of the two bags of the extra large and the extra large is 20.5 inches by 17 inches I know I got a box of the extra extra large too but it's in another bag and this was the last one left at my Dollar Tree the essentials brand large vacuum storage bag 
these are not uh, vacuum I hope that they bring more of these because these are really practical and this is just one storage bag and it is 17.5 inches by 27.5 inches these are the kind that you can put a lot of stuff in there and you suck out the air and it just flattens the cotton contents for storage which is really really uh, great if you are limited in your storage space I said I'm trying I'm trying to go as quickly as I can because I have a lot to show you and I don't have a lot of juice left on my phone here so uh, it's yeah it's pretty random uh, by the cash register they had these fluffy pens you know with the flower with the cute center there uh, so they have them in pink this lilac or purple color and they have like a little spring here and this kind of teal fluffy color with like blue so I got a few of those they they will look nice in a cup on my desk and also will make some nice uh, little gifts I picked up a few of these nail clippers they're just nail clippers but they're embedded in these little rubber doodads and they have a little chain and they have this motif with butterflies and of course they also have an owl so of course I had to get both there is another motif there was like a, a print but I just I considering you know giving these as little gifts or stocking stuffers so um, yeah, I just got the cuter ones that what were cuter to me. I purchased a few more of the uh, Essentials clear acrylic organizers uh, for various organizing things in my house. This one is the one with the lid. I got a couple more of the three compartment long tray and uh, picked up another one of the longer long acrylic basket these fit in the drawers in my house and i use them in drawers to uh, sort uh, beauty products craft supplies i even have some in a uh, drawer inside my living room so we can put like little uh, packs of gum and candy so there's just so many different ways to uh, use those to organize uh, another yeah. random thing are these nails I think these are really pretty they're very light like blush pink and there's a little bit of uh, shimmer or glitter on them so I got a couple packs of those and this week they put out this product by uh, this elf product which is a concealer it is the 4001 and I think it's beige apricot so I'll give that my Dollar Tree had a few more of these they I thought they weren't selling these anymore but I guess they had some left and I bought uh, this red fluffy lacy kind of bow gift topper with the little ream of twine uh, these are fun to use not only for decorating gifts but in craft projects I saw this lanyard it's a Minnie Mouse lanyard I thought it was so cute I do love Minnie Mouse and I do have other friends that um, like Minnie Mouse as well so I thought if I might gift this to someone I just think it's really really cute so and it was the only one the only one I saw there so I got it. I purchased some um, gift bags and I think these are intended for uh, if you're gonna give a wine bottle to someone as a gift. And I know that every uh, holiday season, my husband likes to give uh, a bottle of wine to one of his friends who's a wine collector. So I picked up uh, this bag. I thought this was really a really nice bag. It's, you know, uh, it's kind of, not too feminine looking at least I don't think it is so I think that will do these bags this one for the flower print and the pretty tag and the side that's the side here um, I like the paper I just wanted the paper and it has this nice purple ribbon so I got that for 
my paper collection and I just love this bag. Uh, it's too bad that they didn't come in bigger bags because there's not not much paper. There's less paper here, but uh, basically, if the pattern continues on the side, and it's these gorgeous sunflowers with some gold, shimmery gold, and the tag is so cute. It's this big bumblebee. So I got this bag again for the paper, and I can repurpose this ribbon into something crafty. I had never seen any of these at my Dollar Tree and finally I saw some yesterday so I got uh, one like this, the pink and the purple, one of the blue green and one of the black and red. So yeah, there is another color. They have uh, one that is this, I think it's green and pink. It's more like neon colors but I um, didn't appeal to me. I'm being careful not to buy too many stickers each time I go to the dollar stores but I do really like stickers and I justified getting these because um, I didn't have uh, sayings like this and this is really helpful when I need to make a card to give to someone and these are uh, sentiment stickers with uh, sayings that are, are, are are practical or good sayings to use on a card for a time when someone is going through uh, a challenging time in their life or there has been uh, even uh, like uh, they're dealing with a death or something so I just thought these would be really handy to have to make those kinds of cards. I purchased a couple of the mailer envelopes these are each a dollar twenty-five I couldn't find the size at Dollarama, so I got these at Dollar Tree, and yep, so I paid Dollar Tree. I decided I better pick up the last, oh, and this is the biggest size in the yellow that my Dollar Tree had, and there's two in here, and these, yep, Dollar Tree, but I decided that I should buy out what was left of the clear plastic envelopes with a snap. Uh, there are three in here of these plastic envelopes. I use these uh, to store office papers and other kinds of projects that I have. They're really useful. They're very, very flimsy, but the point is they protect my papers. And these are three in here. There are three in here for $1.25. And I noticed that the there are newer packages and there are only two and the even another brand, uh, well, another brand, another package, they're sold individually for $1.25. So I figured this, I better grab these while they're still three for $1.25. I think they're, they're increasing the prices on some of their little, on some of their items, so, but I'm not sure about that. And I got this package of red ones again, three for a dollar twenty-five. Uh, and this package, but these are a little bit firmer. You get two for a dollar. I have purchased these ones also in the past, uh, but just to show you that these are two for a dollar twenty-five, and these are three for a dollar twenty-five. And I use a lot of those, so I, I just decided to stock up. I got a package of the uh, Jot black poster board 11 by 14 inches i also got a package in white uh, just really handy to have for all sorts of projects making signs etc oh there's a at my dollar tree they had a nice big section for uh christmas crafting supplies and they had these sheets of felt with glitter on them so these are unfortunately each sheet is a dollar 25. so they have them in black uh red green and there was a white which i didn't take i just took these ones i took two of the black and i was thinking in the black i would use at different times of year and not just for christmas i thought these were really fun sticky notes so I got two packs of these and I thought these will make a good stocking stuffer also for so 
someone who works in an office and I, I want one for myself to use with my planner. So you get some notes that say, to, they're like die cut at the top and this is to do, uh, urgent and approve. So in the Christmas, in the Christmas crafting, they had packages of these foam wreaths. I think this is a very good deal. You get four of these donut like foam wreaths for a dollar twenty-five. So there's four in here. That's I thought that was pretty good. And they do have these wreaths uh, also for a dollar twenty-five. So you can make a like more of a regular size wreath and a tiny wreath. I picked up some batteries just because we needed some batteries around the house and I didn't have time to go somewhere else to get another brand so I got this package of eight AA batteries and I also got this white branchy wreath uh, it is 15 inches I haven't seen any of the white uh, Christmas trees, little mini, the miniature Christmas, small size Christmas trees at uh, my Dollar Trees. But I saw this and I thought, oh, I should get it because I could make uh, something pretty for Christmas. And here's something I was looking forward to sharing with you guys is that they have the snow globes, make your own snow globes at Dollar Tree. So I picked up a few of those. These are always fun to, to have to make with kids or to make with adults and to make your own snow globes. And they have in the clear ornaments, I've never seen these before, but they have these ones. They are essentially a jar and they open up and you hang you can hang them from your Christmas tree but I thought these are like little mason jars <laughs> and for all the mason jar lovers out there aren't these adorable so you could make some really cute ornaments or for anything really any time of year so I I had to show these to you and I of course I had to buy a few I saw uh, others haul these, and I think it was Crafty Share. There was a video who I had watched just uh, the morning before I went out shopping, and I had seen these. I seen her haul these, and I saw her haul a whole bunch of stuff that I looked for at my Dollar Tree, and it wasn't out yet. Uh, but they had just gotten a lot of boxes, and they hadn't opened all of them. So, and so they have these 10 LED lights in the shape of stars. And I saw uh, LED, I got some LED lights at Dollarama that are pearls and they are $3 for a set of 10. And they have stars at Dollarama and the set of 10 is $3. So uh, this is a little bit, these are a little bit different style, but they're also a better deal at $1.25. To fill your snow globes or to add snow to your snow globes, they do sell, and it's going all over the place, these bags of uh, faux snow, so they essentially that little styrofoam stuff that goes all over the place, teeny tiny little pieces of styrofoam balls, and they also have some that's a little bit bigger, you can see that. So with the Christmas crafts, they have these ornament ball markers uh, so it says it writes on glass or plastic so essentially it's a permanent ink marker in silver and I picked up a few rolls of the diamond wrap I got a silver a red and this purpley color this is not a Christmas decoration but I thought it would look very nice in my hair for a special occasion it is this barrette, which is this nice satiny bow with lace on it. And they did have different colors, but I just took this um, black one. Finally, I picked up a couple of these ornaments. They seem to be made of uh, tin or aluminum or just some sort of metal. And these are like a poinsettia and they have a clip here. So you can clip these to your tree or clip or use these to make a craft or a wreath or something. They had some that were all red, but I chose this color. I, I like that this looked a little bit more um, antique-ish. So I got that and 
um, that is that. That's it for my Dollar Tree haul. I tried, I might have rushed through it too much, but as you can tell, it's, it was pretty long video anyway. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, I would so appreciate a thumbs up. Please like, comment, share, and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed, please. I, and um, take care of yourself, and I'll see you after my next haul. Bye.